The call of the Fountain of Youth. They're off in the Fountain of Youth stage. Forte was away cleanly enough, but Cyclone Mischief was first to begin, and he's ridden for the early lead. Up on the outside, Dangerous Ride has the same idea, so the outside two horses cross over and lead the way. Legacy Isle, meanwhile, angles off the inside, and Forte slides through at his inside. Rocket 10 is next, and Mage is wide on the course. Il Baracolo is headstrong while third last. Second last, Blazing Sevens. The early trailer is Shadow Dragon. They make their way by an opening quarter, 24 seconds flat. Cyclone Mischief has the lead and he has the rail. He leads by a length over long shot. Racing second is Dangerous Ride. Out deep on the course in Mage. Three wide Rocket 10. Perfectly spotted early is Forte. The Breeders' Cup champion is only three lengths off the lead with Legacy Isle on his outside. These top flight horses have gone five ahead of Shadow Dragon, then Blazing Sevens and Il Maricolo. Half a mile to go. They go to the first finish line in the 2023 Fountain of Youth Stakes. They went 47 and 3 for a half mile. Cyclone Mischief. He's been in front from the outset and he still has the lead. Rocket 10 starts to make a bid second. Three wide mage is third. Iran Ortiz Jr. has strong hold of Forte. He looks ready to roll. Just needs some open racetrack. Dangerous ride calls it an afternoon. Then Legacy Isle as they run to the top of the stretch. Iran decides to swing out and Forte is on the go now. Cyclone Mischief fights to hold it. From between horses, it's Rocket Can. Mage is three wide, but a big presence four wide in the form of Forte. Four across the course as they straight for home. Out in the center, Forte tries to overhaul Cyclone Mischief, who's very game, but Forte's very good. As a three-year-old, he debuts with an easy victory in the Fountain of Youth Stakes. Here's your two-year-old champion. Here's Forte. Gear down. Rocket Can second, Cyclone Mischief third. Mage ran well, it was fourth. Shadow Dragon to complete your high five in 143 flat. He's back. <laughs> he is back. How about that? Mike Rapoli and family got joy in there, too. All smiles before the race, all smiles immediately after. Really good ride by Rad Ortiz Jr. I mean, listen, when you're on that heavy of favor, I guess you're supposed to win, but he, he rode him with so much confidence. He was on the rail in the first turn, saved all the ground, boxed in behind horses, knew that he would get out at some point. Middle of the second turn, he just angled him out four wide because he knew he had tons of horse. Look at how happy they are. <laughs> and You he, think that's what Joy told him, to do exactly that. Clearly the best. That's what that's those are the instructions I'm sure she likely gave it. <laughs> yeah, there you see the top of the stretch angling out four wide. A dream trip before that, just sitting right there behind a pace. It wasn't terribly fast, but look, when you have the best horse, there's really only two concerns in a race like this. Number one, is the horse going to be ready off the layoff? And Todd Pletcher had said everything had gone perfectly for Forte, and you know Todd from the past. The horse is going to be ready. Secondly, is he going to have any bad luck? Is he going to break badly? Is he going to get stopped behind horses? Traffic problems. None of that. And you saw the result. He is clearly, I think, right now, uh, the number one rated three-year-old in America. You've got, of course, you've got Arabian Night now in the Tim Yak team barn on the West Coast. It's probably going to run in either the, Oak, the Arkansas Derby or the Santa Anita Derby. But I, I would say Forte deserves to be number one. Yeah, I mean, it's so perfect that not only did he win, he took all the dirt, all, all the traffic, and he got to gear him down late and save a little bit for the next time, which you're always wanting to do. If you're Todd Pletcher, if you're Mike Rapoli, if you're the other co-owner, Vinny Viola, you could not have drawn up a better prep coming back off the layoff for Forte. Now his next start is almost certainly going to be the Florida Derby. Uh, Pletcher told us that if he showed that he handled the, the track at Gulfstream well, uh, that that was going to be the next logical spot as opposed to the bluegrass. So we can look forward to seeing Forte at Gulfstream Park for, next for time. For the too. reason that if he runs in the Florida Derby, he gets a an extra week yes. between that race and the Kentucky Derby.